Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A car is moving on a circular path of radius 600 meter such that the magnitude of the tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration are equal the time taken by the car to complete first quarter of revolution if it is moving with initial speed of 54 km per hour is t into bracket 1 minus e raised to power minus pi by 2 second then the value of t is this question is based on the application of integration and what is the question here given that a car is moving on a circular track and tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration are equal here tangential acceleration means this is tangent and it's acceleration that is tangential acceleration or linear acceleration and uh, acceleration towards to the center that is centripetal acceleration According to the question, centripetal acceleration and tangential acceleration are equal. As we know that the centripetal acceleration is d square by r. Here r is the radius. And tangential acceleration that is uh, a. Okay. Simply a can be written as dv by dt. So here v square by r is equal to dv by dt okay by using chain rule it can be written as dv by dx into dx by dt okay so we can here we can see that dv by dt this is chain rule and dx by dt we know that dx by dt is velocity so, v square by r is equal to dv by dx and dx by dt can be written as v. So, here one v is cancel out and only one v is remaining and uh, dv by v and dx on r dx by r is equal to dv by v. Okay. Rearranging dv by v is equal to dx by r and uh, applying integration. So, here as we know that integration dx by x can be written as log x to the base e or ln. Okay, so here and uh, what is the limit? Initial velocity is given that. 54 kilometer per hour. It means, let us suppose this is the initial uh, 54 convert in meter per second multiply by 5 by 18. So, 15 meter per second. Okay. So, here initial velocity is 15 meter per second and uh, final velocity consider V. Okay. So, here 1 dV by V can be written as log V to the base e upper limit v lower limit 50 is equal to here 1 by r put as it is and dx can be written as x so here upper limit minus lower limit is equal to x by r as we know that according to the property of log m minus log n can be written as log m by n. So, this property we have using and it can be written as v by 15 is equal to x by r. Okay. Now, it can be written as in exponent form e reaches to the base and this x by r become power v by 15 or v can be written as 15 e raised to power x by r. This is considered 
फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ओके ना ओके वेलोसिटी कैन बी रिटर्न एस डी एक्स बाई डी टी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन ई रेस टू पावर एक्स बाय आर ओके हियर डी एक्स अपॉन ट्रांसपोजिंग दिस टर्म x e raised to power x by r is equal to 15 dt and uh, by using exponent rule e raised to power minus x by r dx is equal to 15 dt using integration here now here we have using the limit what is the limit here actually given that the car which is quarter one quarter quarter means Here two pi r circumference and quarter means four two ones are two 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 is a four means pi r by two. So here zero to pi r by two. Okay, this is the limit here zero to pi r by two. Now e raised to power integration x by r. As we know that in the integration coefficient put in denominator, so one minus one by r, upper limit pi r by two, lower limit zero is equal to t, and here limit zero to t, so dt is that is t zero to t. Upon of upon reaches to the numerator minus r e raised to power minus x by r zero pi r by two is equal to fifteen t. Now put upper limit minus r e raised to power minus pi r by two r, and this minus minus plus r e raised to power zero is equal to fifteen t. Here, this r cancel out minus r e raised to power minus pi by two plus r e raised to power zero by using exponent rule e raised to power zero that is one is equal to fifteen t r taken out from the bracket one minus e raised to power minus pi by two this fifteen transposing is equal to t. And given that r is equal to 600 meter, so put here 600 by 15, 1 minus e raised to power minus pi by 2, and here t is equal to 15, fours are 60 and 0, so t is equal to 40, 1 minus e raised to power minus pi by 2. So here our answer in the place of t we get 40, so t is equal to 40 is our answer. I hope so. You have understand. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.